Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? What's up everybody, this is Aircree Harry. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about an upcoming workshop where we're going to be building this three dome home design you see in front of you with a pop out for a bedroom. Oh, wow. And that bedroom wow. will be an earthen floor and rammed earth walls. Wow. But the rest of the dome will be my traditional reinforced concrete cement mix. And in Crestone, Colorado is where we're going to be holding this workshop. There's going to be four workshops, three for the domes and one for the rammed earth walls and earthen floor. And so you can see this is the floor plan design for that home. It's over 900 square feet, which is what's required for the area. We also have five foot diameter windows. And the thought is you'll be able to comfortably sit on the window seal there and read a book and just have the extra space with these large window seals. Really exciting. I'm a big fan of rammed earth walls of all the earthen systems. And so this will be a first time for me being part of a rammed earth wall or incorporating that into a structure. I just thought the bedroom where you spend a lot of time would be great for that room to be very organic and just really comfortable space. Scott Howard is gonna be our earthen floor and rammed earth instructor. So Scott Howard has been involved in many earthen home projects around the world. And uh, he has a lot of experience with this and i'm looking forward to learning from him the ram earth system and i hope you guys are going to join us for all four workshops possibly and we're going to be covering everything from doors to windows to floors to electrical plumbing radiant floor heating it's going to be really exciting so you can see here my buddy dan has three domes we built last year and this is the 16 foot dome. This is a bathroom dome. And in this structure, we were using basalt mesh, basalt rebar, and basalt roving. So we're using three different basalt products, including basalt fiber chop mixed into the cement. So there's really four different reinforcing materials on this. And the idea was just to stay away from the metal in the structure. So here we're working on the 30 foot slab for the 30 foot dome we're gonna be building here in just a second. And this all went really smooth. The beauty is these are really fast structures to build when you know what you're doing and you're all ready to build. And they're also really inexpensive. Now, I didn't uh, run this rebar on this dome and you're gonna see later, there was one issue on here and you can also see the electrical conduit that was run on this, which was really great. We made a custom ladder for this dome specifically so that we could apply the cement to the top portion of it. That's the ladder there that swings around. And uh, all the window and door framing you're going to be learning. You can see the electrical conduit we've run and all that gets embedded into the concrete. So the one issue with the rebar here, and you're gonna see later on the inside, is spacers weren't used under the rebar to keep at least a one inch gap away from the air form. So that becomes a pain in the butt later because once the air form's removed, you have to cement the inside with a trowel and everything to cover it all up and, and strengthen it. So we won't be making that mistake on the dome that we're gonna be working on in Colorado. So it's gonna be a really exciting project coming up. And I hope people can take part of it. But the beauty right here with this 30 foot dome is to build the entire structure, you're looking at only 15,000 bucks for 704 square foot. You're not gonna find a less expensive way to build a permanent structure that's good for resistance to fire, hurricanes, tornadoes, termites, all of these things. This is the cement we're using. It cures to 9,000 PSI after 28 days, 3,200 PSI after seven. And this is the system we use. We had a mud mixer, a pan mixer, and the pump we were using to spray for the shotcrete. And then you can also see later, we have a tow behind air compressor that we're using. 
And there I am on the custom made ladder. And there I am uh, spraying the shot creep mix to cover all the rebar. So we ended up putting about two to three inches on the dome. You're looking at about four inches on the vertical portion. And here we are, I'm teaching the workshop on how to build a foundation for the 16 foot using a ring beam system. The system where you saw the slab being poured, that was a slab on grate, and you can do that in warm weather climates. Other climates where you're worried about frost heaving, there's other systems to come up. And that was the group we had for the workshop to build that 20 foot dome. And um, here we are, we're working on the framing for the window. You could see already the framing for the doorway has been done in the background there. Here's the doorway. There's two doors on this dome and the one window. And plus a skylight that was installed. We had kids, young kids here, and they were very hands-on and and it's just, it really demonstrated how anybody can learn this system and um, build their own dome. And I think it's really important since we had so many tragedies as far as, you know, flooding in the South and uh, all the fires we had in California a few years ago and then more recently. And a lot of people are, you know, out of homes. And I just want people to know that this is a system that anybody can build. And with zero experience, you could build your own dome in two weeks. And a dome this size, a 20-foot dome, you could build complete ready to move in for about seven to $8,000, depending on the location you're in and the price you get the materials for. But structurally, it's going to be one of the strongest structures. And you can see here we're using the basalt mesh. We put a layer on of cement and then we put the basalt mesh and then we spray more. And that was part of the workshop making the air form. And we had uh, those six pallets of cement are what we were using for spraying this dome, the 20 foot dome. And the idea is to get a nice smooth wall on the inside with so you have to do almost zero work on the inside once the air forms removed. Now this was a last minute decision by the owner to because uh, he got a deal on the spray foam. So he ended up spray foaming it because he wanted to get into the house for winter. And the idea was originally to do an epic mix or a styrocrete mix where we mix styrofoam and cement together and we lay on a layer about six to eight inches thick. So he went with the spray foam because it was much faster. But this is the system here that you see me mixing that we were intending to put on the structural shell. And what's important is the videos I made in the past talk about me helping people build a structural shell to make it inexpensive for people to build. And then they would handle this process themselves of mixing the insulative layer and applying it by hand the way I did here in this video. And I'm pretty sure I got this done in one day solo. And so with other people, you know, two or three people, you can easily get one of these domes built, especially in California. I wanted to bring up California because California has something where you're allowed to build a second resident on your property. So my thought was people who lost their homes in fires could build, for example, a 20 foot dome in their backyard within two weeks and have a solid safe structure to live in that's also fireproof while they rebuild their home. So it's really something to consider if you know someone who's lost their home in a fire or any you know natural disaster, just let them know about this video because this upcoming workshop, anyone can come learn how to build yourself which makes it really inexpensive to build opposed to hiring someone to do it for you you know because when you got to pay for labor it gets expensive but if you can build yourself which you 100 percent can do it's really inexpensive you're just paying for the materials so this is the inside of the dome that's a pantry a shipping container that's connected to the 30-foot dome 
pantry closet. This is a, a quick tour of the bathroom. I'll be making another video later showing this in detail. And this is the 20 foot bedroom we were just building. That's a king size bed in there. And there's just a ton of space in this dome. It, it's really, it's really wow. a beautiful thing. And if you build this taller and you put a loft to put the loft in top, then you have even more floor space. So if you have one single 20 foot dome, you could easily have kitchen, living room, bathroom. And then with the loft area, you have your bedroom up top. Really efficient, really inexpensive, and really fast to build. This is what I was talking about with the rebar. You could see all the grids from the rebars that has to still be covered up. So aesthetically, I'm not pleased. Neither is the homeowners. But functionally, this works great. It was super cool in there. This was a hot day, and it was like really cold inside. So that spray foam insulation is working really great, but like I mentioned before, it should have been the Styrocrete or the Epic Mix. Six to eight inches thick would have been plenty of insulation for any climate, and we would have been able to trial it on smooth, so aesthetically it looked nice. And after we did the insulative mix, then we would have put another really thin coat of white Portland cement mixed with a cement dye so you could get whatever color you want. and put that as a final coating over the entire structure then you have all your insulation you have your final color coat and everything's going to be waterproof because we're using a crystalline structure mixture that gets mixed into the cement and again this is a very inexpensive way and a very fast way for anybody to build so if you're if you're one of these unfortunate people that have lost your home or due to any you know natural disaster this is a great way especially in california because they have the rules where you can build a second unit on your property to rent out to sell it you know depending on the county so right now you could build one of these have a comfortable place to live while you take the time to rebuild your home the way it was or better but either way, any traditional building method, stick frame or otherwise, is going to take much longer than building one of these domes using an airform. So please reach out, aircreteharry at gmail.com, and get more information on the upcoming workshop, which is going to be happening towards the end of May. And in June, we're going to have workshops there. And if you're really interested in the earthen floor and rammed earth walls, we're also going to be offering that. And again, everything will be included in this workshop from the radiant floor heating to the electrical, the plumbing, windows, doors, everything's going to be included. So this is going to be a great workshop. Don't miss out. Peace out. I love you all now. Catch you later. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Remember to like, subscribe, and share.